right, welcome back to the T38 build. So we are finally gonna start um, doing some vinyl here. Just like the flight controls, um, I've done a real light overspray of uh, white over the wood areas. Um, hopefully these kind of darker spots won't show up too much. Even if they do, it's not the end of the world. Um, but anyways, so if you missed the last one, I've done two coats of poly, sand it real light with some 320, this paint, just give it another quick little sand down to get the overspray smoothed out. And yeah, I'm going to cut some vinyl and uh, wish me luck, see how this goes. <laughs> Hope it doesn't suck. All right, so you can still kind of see through it, but honestly, I'm not that worried about it. I'm sure outside in the sun, you probably won't even see it, so it'll be so bright. Um, so the vinyl has a couple of interesting qualities. Um, it stretches like crazy. So I just heat it up with a Monaco heat gun and pulled it across this tip. This is a sharp edge here, and it just went right over it. So that's cool. So I'm going to pull this down with some heat along the leading edge. I'll trim this, tuck it underneath the flight controls and wrap this around the edge and tuck that. And then wrap around the edges here a little bit and that'll be it. So, so far not too bad. Um, I did weigh it. So it's about two and a half ounces with the backing and it's about exactly half the weight with the backing off. So this is like one and a quarter ounce for this section here so not terrible um quick rough math that tells me i'm gonna be adding about a pound or so to the final model which all things considered really isn't that bad so anyways i'm gonna get these edges all tucked in and done up and that's not so bad now this is like one of the easiest things i can cover <laughs> that's why i'm starting with it um the flight controls will be easy too. Tails will be easy. The fuselage is going to be a whole different ball of wax. So that's going to be interesting. But it does stretch and it will shrink a little bit too with some heat. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, we're committed now. So it's nice and smooth. And you don't really notice any of the uh, surface defects like scratching in the foam or anything. So that's kind of nice. So I'm probably going to cover this and then put the decals over the top just because I want to see how it looks, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going on this. All right, so we've got the first side over here is done, and I just put the decals on it just so I can see how it looks. It's pretty sweet, not bad. So I'm starting off with this side here, so you cut it big. Um, right now it's just laying on here. I haven't pressed anything down. Um, so I have this squeegee that I've... Uh, double side taped a piece of rag too so it's got some cushion and uh, it's going to show you guys how you kind of do this so you want to start from the center and push out and push all the air you can't push too hard because it's foam so you'll dent it if you push too hard but Basically, I'm just working the surface down, working the air out from underneath it. You hear the air being pushed. Okay. I'll uh, show you. Uh, I should have left this tip a little bit longer here, but I'll show you how you... Uh, doesn't take much heat. Just kind of grab it, pull it down. And once, once you get it warm, you kind of... Do that, and that's that. And so you give it a second to cool off, and then you just come back with a blade and just zing it off like that. This shows some defects. That's a drip of polyurethane I didn't see. 
but that stuff's not that big of a deal. So I did notice that when you when you heat this up, it kind of uh, is air trapped underneath it. So. Kind of, if you kind of heat it up, all these bubbles appear from the heat, and they'll just kind of smooth back down by hand. So I'm going to do the same thing on the front here. Just grab it and pull it down. So once you go around the edge a little bit, you just run a blade along there, cut it off. These similar techniques when you do Monaco. Move it off like that. Same thing for uh, wrapping around the sides. I'm going to cut right here where the spar is at. I'll lay it all down. Good positive. Way. So you can see just pull it down and stick it. Doesn't take much heat, like I said. So once I do that, then I'll come back and I'll trim it off. It basically just kind of forms right to it once you get it hot. It gets really soft. So you don't want to cut it right away because it's still it's soft. So kind of let it sit and then it cools off and it kind of hardens. See like all these like wrinkles and stuff. Kind of heat it up, push it in. This gives it a good adhesion of the surface too. Once it gets warm. The surface it doesn't look as smooth anymore once you do this, but it's sticking a whole lot better than if you were to just lay it on there. So you pretty much want to hit it all with heat, but again, we're not we're not using nearly as much heat as you would with Monaco. We're just getting it warm, basically. And pushing all this air out. And once you trim it, you can go back and heat it back up and stick it down really well. Honestly, doing these flat surfaces is pretty easy. Uh, fuselage is going to be a different story, but hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, this stuff really conforms, so that's the one thing it's really got going for it, is that Monaco conforms, but this stuff, like, it's crazy, so you can really, really stretch this stuff. So I'm hoping that the compound curves of the fuselage won't be too big of a deal. Yeah, so that's 
all done. Let's see the, flip it around here. Now I still have to put the servo holes in here. I kind of forgot about that, but gonna do that still. So basically, I'm just gonna cut along, kind of like you would with monocoat. You can't have these corners too crazy. But what I'm gonna do here is. Pull it up like that. Get it nice and sharp around the edges. See, it gets a little stretched super thin. Surprisingly, I mean, even when it's stretched out, it still sticks pretty well. So, anyways, I'm just going to cut down into this corner. Now, when I do the lower side, I'll wrap around and try and connect to that. That'll make it good connection and help keep it from pulling back off. We'll see stuff like this where it's, you know, missing material in the corner, but no one's ever really going to see it. So, then, like it's before, once you kind of get it all trimmed and everything, you come back, reheat it, just kind of stick it down. Got this little corner around here. So this one right here, kind of do the same thing, pull it up. Let's see how much that stretched. I wasn't even beating it that much. So now that's cooled off for a couple seconds, I just come back and cut it off like that. So I want a little bit of an overlap underneath here just so that the material sticks to itself. You do the same thing with Monaco, you throw on a corner and overlap it. So do that. Do that real quick. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Reacts really quick to the heat, so we don't have to sit there and heat soak it or anything. But anyways, that's pretty much the gist of how we're doing this. Um, probably just cut it off right here and then show you guys where I'm at at the end of the video. It's all going to be the same process, so um, just experiment. It's not too bad if you got to pull it back off. It doesn't really hurt too much, so... Anyways, I think I'm going to have to order some more material, though. I don't know if 10 yards is going to be enough, honestly. It might, but it might not. So I figure I better order it now, just so that way I can get it in a few days. And hopefully we'll be flying this thing by next weekend. So anyways, let's uh, get back to work. All right, so I've uh, sanded and reapplied spackle for the last time on the fuselage. So I'm getting ready to <clears throat> sand that and polyurethane it today, hopefully. Uh, I gotta finish flight controls. I just got a couple done here. I gotta finish all those. Uh, I need to start getting the servos set up. So while this is all curing, um, I'm gonna be doing the rest of the flight control stuff, getting that all done. So that way there'll be just a few slides left. Um, I think we're gonna end the video here. Shit, I guess that's pretty sweet. So I'm trying to keep these videos not so long, but. Anyways, really excited with how this airplane's looking.
pumped to know that we're probably going to be flying it in four or five days. So, anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, the next one, I probably won't do you another video until I'm covering a fuselage. So, that'll probably be tomorrow. <laughs> I have the whole week off of work. So, this week, next week, and part of the following week. So, I got uh, a number of projects to do. Um, got to finish this first. That's the main thing. Gonna throw a paint job on the Tiger Cat and the Panther at the same time. I gotta give this a quick sand down and sand down the markings a little bit. I don't want to sand too much because I'll get rid of all the details on the surface. So quick sand and prime job. Gonna just retract the gear, mask off a few things, paint both airplanes at the same time. I got some class coat paint that I bought for the Panther. So I'm just gonna do this at the same time. I got my decals for this, decals for that already. Um, paint scheme on the Tiger Cat is going to be the same as my John Morgan Tiger Cat. So, um, and then once that's done, I'm going to fix T38 or fix T38 first, then paint those two. I haven't decided yet. I have all the materials to fix this, um, minus some pushrod hardware. So, I'm going to do that over the break. Get, get this fixed, get these two painted, get this finished, and that'll probably be most of the break so next project up after all that's done um, I'm gonna start working on the X1 over there that little chubby fella and then I want to get my jet hanger F86 finished so and then after that will be the A4 so anyways that'll probably take me until at least the summertime <laughs> to get all that stuff done but the next few weeks hoping to knock out these projects but super stoked about this thing um yeah it's going good so far anyways hope you guys like the video and uh hopefully the next time i post a video it'll be this thing getting covered and all the flight control stuff will be done so anyways we'll see you the next one